As the life-threatening dangers of cigarette smoking became increasingly obvious, over half the countries in the world moved towards banning cigarette smoking in public places. Some months back, in a private motion piloted by opposition Senator Mumtaz Hussain, the government agreed to ban cigarette smoking in public places. I have no problem with people who feel that they must smoke. I do not wish at all to get involved in the privilege and privilege of, 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 of people to smoke. But where it involves a privilege that is endangering the lives of others, then I feel that that ought to be restricted. Whitco's position is that there's no place on our statute books for legislation to ban smoking in public places. If you look around, you'll see that people recognize that other people don't want them to smoke. As a result of that, they've started to change their behavior. The toxic ingredients of that, what we call side stream smoke, is just as toxic. It gets into the lungs, so you are inhaling a lot of the tar, which is the thing that causes the lung cancer. In this country, 137 people died of lung cancer in 1991. They were all smokers. Most of the 800 or so heart attacks that occur each year in Trinidad and Tobago happen to smokers. However, now there's evidence that someone else's cigarette can kill you. Unborn children cause severe respiratory problems, bronchitis that kills, cancer and heart disease. This going on over a long period of time does exactly the same thing that the smoker uh, does to himself. It changes the whole structure of the lung. Senator Hosein feels banning cigarette smoking in public places will benefit everyone. The statistics shows that more than 90% of the smokers want to stop smoking, but they simply don't have the willpower to do it, so they need help. If you ban smoking in public places, that is not going to impact on consumption of cigarettes. I think people will smoke less, um, some will quit. The government, Senator Hosein feels, will save precious resources on health care. The beds now that are occupied by tobacco-related diseases will become available to so many more chronic patients and uh, who can't find beds in the hospital. The ban, if it comes into effect, will include all enclosed public places, from buses to government buildings. Who then will have the last word? Politicians? The government has not come up with anything yet. I have decided that I will give them about three months and to see what they will do. If they don't, then I intend to take up the matter again. Tobacco companies? Our position clearly is we are, we are opposed to such legislation. Doctors? If legislation is necessary to do that, then we support it. Or the people? We could never pass a law in Trinidad here because here in Trinidad, everybody brings the law here. Characteristically, although the Honorable Senators debated and accepted banning cigarette smoking in public places, nothing has happened since. The reason may be that the bureaucratic machinery of the Ministry of Health takes a long time to implement private members' motions or notions. Ira Mathur, CCN News, with a special report.